homemade pickles are really delicious, but they require a lot of special canning equipment. You need jar lifters and special tongs. And it's hot work to be sterilizing jars and standing over a water bath canner for pickles. You can get the same delicious result by making refrigerator pickles when you're inundated with cucumbers from your garden or at the farmer's market. Now, to choose something to put them in, you can use jars, quart, pint, or even gallon jars, whatever you have room in your refrigerator for. You could also use plastic bowls or containers that have a tight lid. These are not vacuum sealed, so you can use any kind of jar uh, lid. It can be the two-part canning jar, but whatever can make a good seal. And then use any fresh, crisp cucumbers that you have. You can use a slicing cucumber, the burpless type, a pickling, or uh, just any kind of cucumber that you have. There's no need to peel the cucumbers for this. Just slice them thinly. You can use a mandolin or a food processor to slice them uh, more quickly. Wash your jars well, but you don't have to sterilize them. And then you can add different things to flavor the pickles to the jar. So I like to use a couple of cloves of garlic, some red pepper flakes, dill seed, peppercorns. You could put mustard seed and you can add peppers if you like a hot pickle. Now you can use any kind of pepper you like, jalapenos, serranos. If you slice the peppers, you'll get a really hot uh, vinegar. You can put the peppers in whole for just a slight flavor of pepper and then you can punch the peppers with a toothpick to give just a little bit more heat to your pickles. And you can check to see how, how much you like uh, of the heat in there. Now, uh, the dill, you hopefully save some fresh dill from your spring garden because usually the dill is gone before the cucumbers are ready. But you can buy fresh, really nice, fresh, fragrant dill seed too. Uh, for the vinegar, I like to use natural apple cider vinegar. You want to make sure it's made from apples because often it's white vinegar that's got caramel coloring and flavorings. Rice wine vinegar is also nice. They have a very mild flavor, so you really taste the pickles, not the vinegar. And you can add sugar to taste. Now, I usually just put a tablespoon or uh, less for a tablespoon for a quart jar, maybe half of that for a pint jar. Some people will put up to a cup in each jar, but that's too sweet for me. And you'll use a non-reactive pan to cook the brine. So you're going to heat the vinegar, the water, and, and d extra dill if you want that. I like a really dilly pickle, so I usually put dill in the brine. Heat that just to a boil, let it cool a bit, and then you're gonna put that over your sliced or, or uh, split cucumbers in the jar. Let it seal it up, let it cool for a little while before you put it in the refrigerator. And then the flavor is going to be great by the next day, but they'll actually keep getting more of the flavor as you uh, leave them in the refrigerator and they'll keep for several months. You can use the same technique for green beans, okra, cauliflowers, or for carrots. For more recipes on making icebox pickles and different things you can add, check out our website at klru.org ctg. And for Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.